Ah, uh, no, welcome back to Match Day Live, and it's me, Dan, back again. And let's do this. So, this Saturday, Man United have to face West Brom at half five. So, let's get straight into it. Oh, there's the uh, informed teams. And apparently, according to fact, Matt, uh, <laughs> Wayne Rooney is injured. So. Um, we won't have Rooney this week. Um, I'm going to play Di Maria. Well, no, where did I put Di Maria? Di Maria instead of... Um, no, actually I'm going to keep Di Maria there. I'm going to have Van Persie instead of Falcao because he scored for the under-21s yesterday. Uh, not yesterday, the other day. And I'm going to have Di Maria instead of Fellaini. And I'll keep, hopefully... Uh, yeah, I'll keep... Uh, well, McNair did pretty shit against West Brom. So let's put... Um, uh, let's put Rojo or something. Even though I probably think that he will be injured. So let's play match. Um, so, last weekend, Man United faced uh, Everton away. And as you can all pretty much guess, we uh, lost. Um, this is then the Manchester United lineup. How did we lose? Well, we didn't Tony even Manchester actually turn up. <laughs> Luke Shaw is the fullbacks. I mean, even Louis van Gaal said it in his press, press conference after. We didn't even have the motivation at the beginning of, of the game, even in the warm-up. So, it makes me think, how could, how could we lose that motivation that we lost? It? I know we lost against Chelsea, but we didn't deserve to lose against Chelsea, but... It was so... It was, we, we just played so poorly, and, <coughs> and uh, we lost. We lost three 0 but the goals we conceded, they were pretty good. I have to admit that. Uh, the first goal was a counter attack. Um, well, De Gea. There was some saying people De, De Gea should have saved some shots. Um, Some say that he should have come off or something. I don't know. Uh, um, yeah, so we were pretty shit. <laughs> we didn't even. It just, it just didn't, it just didn't happen. Personally, and especially with the third goal, Morelas. All right, Lukaku was offside, but Morelas wasn't. So he, he, he was allowed to get the ball and score. And uh, people were saying that it was offside because Lukaku did go for it, but uh, personally, in my opinion, it's, it's Morelas is onside and Van Persie one 0 <coughs> Yeah, so um, we were pretty shit. Sure. You can notice that we had no Carrick. We had blind in midfield. It did not work for blind, unfortunately. Um, Luke Shaw had a poor game. McNair had a poor game down that left hand side against Lukaku. It just did not work for. It just did not work for us uh, uh, on Sunday. Um, which makes me think, will it work for us this Saturday? Um, I mean, we're at home. It should give us a bit of confidence. And but you never know because of West. <coughs> West Brom last last season scored, we scored I think they beat us I believe so and we're out of confidence at the moment out, out of confidence and um, it was just it was just poor uh, end of Flaney did Fla well Flaney got yellow carded because the that's okay the Everton players kept nicking and nicking at him and where Flaney just keeps getting nicked at, he just loses his temper and then he swings at people. 
So that's why I got took off for um, Di Maria at half time. No, was it Di Maria? No, Falcao came on, sorry. And Falcao. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah, just Falcao. Just keep it as that. Uh, <clears throat> um, yeah, it was. We just, we just didn't even turn up. It's like it was so. It was so. It was. It was like really annoying me because we played so well against Chelsea. We played so well against um, Man City the weekend before. You would have thought, all right, Everton. They're on. They have a bit of confidence at the moment. I get that, but. We, we were like the same confidence as well, so we had the same type of confidence, if you know what I mean. But maybe that Chelsea loss did give us a bit of, just put us down a bit, or where we lost Carrick, and hopefully Carrick will be fit for next uh, game on Saturday, hopefully. Um, I think Van Persie should start next game. Because uh, he did score two goals in the under 21s. Uh, yeah, all right, it's under 21s, but it's it shows that he actually can score. So maybe we do put uh, Van Persie up front. I'm surprised Van Persie didn't actually uh, come on actually instead of uh, Falcao on. Um, On, uh, on Sunday, last Sunday. Oh, oh, what, oh yeah, what a chance Fellaini missed. If he scored that, I reckon we would have won. If he scored that. Oh, there's an injury. It's currently half time as well. Um, if he scored that, I reckon we would have. I reckon we would have gone on to win. But it just shows that we do need. Um, a bit of more class than Fellaini in, 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 in our team. I can't speak to the guy, guys. Um, so, <coughs> let's go on to West Brom. West Brom are currently... Uh, I think they're... I can't remember. Where were they? <laughs> I think they're in mid-table-ish. I think they're safe. Uh, no, I don't think they are safe, are they, from relegation? Um, I think, personally, Man United need to win to keep on pressure on uh, to keep pressure on Arsenal and Man City because we would like to get second or third, personally, because otherwise we have to go through the qualifiers for the Champions League, and we don't want that, personally, because. Otherwise, we're going to be in, like in the pot three, where pot three it gets, you know, sure. is a very bad pot for Champions League at the moment. Um, as you can see, as you can see, Man City got into the third pot last season, and it was pretty poor. And now what they've done is they've swapped it all around with the uh, Champions League pot. So Man United, if they come second or third, uh, we'll. We in pot two, I think, or pot one. Uh, not pot two, sorry. Instead of pot one, where they where they used to have it. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's about Champions League. Not not about Saturday. Um, who should start? Um, Ashley Young. Uh, he did pretty. He did all right, I guess. But I mean, Luke Shaw and Ashley Young down that left. Again, maybe put if Carrick's back, put Blind back into the left back, well and then put or maybe put Carrick as centre back, or I don't know. Um, I don't think McNair should start at centre back again because he did he did all right he did pretty well against uh, Drogba in the Chelsea match, but Lukaku was just a man man up to him, he just man up to him and couldn't take it. And, uh, Herrera. Uh, Mata, Mata was pretty poor. Um, he didn't do much. Um, Herrera, the same, he didn't do much. We, I mean the overall team should have got like a 4 or 3 out of 10, that's how bad it was. I'm hoping that 
Um, either Rojo or James will be back for this weekend as well for our defence. Um, so I reckon it will be a tough match because um, West Brom are Tony Pulis' team at the moment. So Tony Pulis is the manager. And. Oh, sorry. What a goal from Horror. Freeman. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be a tough match because Tony Pulis teams are, are very are very good against Man United teams so we, we have struggled against them before but um, of course West Brom are a bit of a relegation team at the moment I believe so they will be it will be a tough match um, my starting 11 David De Gea and goal like normal um, hopefully, have a, hopefully he has a better game and hopefully makes a save this time. <laughs> um, Valencia's right back. He didn't do much as right back, but Rafael's out for the season, so we won't have Rafael. So Valencia's staying at right back. Uh, left back, Luke Shaw, if Carrick's not fit. Um, if the rumours are true about Wayne Rooney, then have Herrera, Di Maria. Yeah, have, have Herrera, Di Maria, uh, Mata in midfield with Blind as a sitting defence, sit, centre defence mid or something like that. What a save. Um, yeah, so, and then Ashley Young on the wing and just have uh, Van Persie up front with... Um, Di Maria just behind him because I don't think Fellaini should start personally because um, West Brom do have height in their team and they are quite good at defending their aerial threats and stuff like that so I'm going to go I'm going to have to go with um, Di Maria instead of Fellaini so, uh, right guys, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to go for 1-0 Man United. But anyway, guys, please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. So, right, I'm going. Bye.